Hey guys, Google here. Back with a, my first tutorial video, I guess you could call it. I've been playing Star Wars: Force Unleashed, as you've as you've probably noticed. In the first couple of videos, I used mouse and keyboard, which was okay. I just didn't like it. It felt weird to me because I've always played it using a controller, specifically a PS3 controller. Now, I mean, for Windows computers, Windows Vista, Windows, uh, blah, 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 I think seven, eight, April one, and ten. I don't know about Vista or XP. You can use an Xbox 360 controller or an Xbox One controller as a gamepad in place of a gamepad, of course. And I had a, an Xbox One, but I got rid of it because I didn't play it very much. But I also, look, my family has a PS4 and we had an extra controller. So I was like, huh, I wonder if I can use the PS4 controller. And you can. Links are in the links are in the description. Go to ds4windows.com, download it. It would be this right here, ds4windows.zip version 1.4.401. Maybe updated later on. Download it. I've already downloaded it. What you want to do is you want to open it. You're going to extract all, and then double click on ds4windows.exe. That'll bring up this window. I've already had mine installed, so there's no need for me to do it. Install the driver, it'll do it. If you don't have the Xbox 360 driver, if you have Windows 7, Windows 8 might have it, and Windows 10 definitely has it. If not, click this step and install it, and then connect the, let me turn on my webcam. There we go. Take the controller, plug it into your computer via USB, or if you have a Bluetooth connector or a Bluetooth, if your computer is Bluetooth enabled, you can do this as well by hold the PS button and, sh and share for three seconds, light bar in the double flash. Once flashing, go into Bluetooth settings and connect to the wireless controller, code quadruple zero. But I'm using wired, so plug it in. It'll install the drivers. I've already done that. Then hit finish, and then open up DS4. See my controller is right here. Profiles, open the profile. You can control a lot of things, including the light. Mine is set to this purple. I can set it to just red if I wanted to. Hit save, and it goes to red. Or if I wanted white, there's white. Or not at all, nothing at all. This interesting black color, which you can't see because I don't know if I'm holding it up correctly, whatever. But I like a little blue, a little red for a bit of purple. You can also do a lot of other things with this. You can control flashing, you can use as the mouse, which if you look at my desktop, can use it as a standalone mouse using the touch screen, which I think is really cool. You can click with it. And really, really cool. Um, you can have fun with it and just test rumble. This is the vibration. Just and you can set the sense of the rumble percentage. I have it at 100% because I like feel feel what I'm doing. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it. Different readings, which are very very accurate. Got the six-axis gyroscope, left stick, right stick, L2, right two, gyro accelerator, all sorts of cool stuff. And yeah. You can have as many controls I think as you want, or different profiles for different games. And yeah, if you want to see how well it works, look at Star Wars: The Force Unleashed Episode Four. Is when I start using the controller. So yeah, um, that's how you use a PS4 DualShock 4 controller on your PC. Thank you guys, and have a great day.